What's going on guys? My name is Seth and I'm finally here. Happy to introduce Fontshelf. It's an Adobe Photoshop plugin that allows you to group fonts into playlists or collections that I like to call shelves, allowing you to customize, organize, and personalize your fonts your way. It's as simple as creating your new collection, finding your favorite fonts, and adding it into that selected collection. I of course made sure you still got like hover to preview, change of color, you can change the size, so you don't have to like go in and out of like the characters table too much. And I, I'm just really excited about it. I've been using it for like the past like four months and I love it. With that, I hope you come to actually enjoying it because I think it's just one of those things that was a no brainer and I felt the need to just do it myself. And I'm just excited that I get to finally share it with you guys. So don't forget fontshelf.com. See you there, enjoy. So do you, do you like it? Obviously I couldn't just kind of go without also kind of just let's let's go through the app with me. Why not? Okay. So basically if you guys were to first load in the application, you're going to be asked to of course activate a key. That's also in your download stuff. You can put that key in there and you're good to go. I, I don't know if I said when or if, but if I said when, I meant if you buy it, but I think you should buy it. But I don't know what which one I said, but like in my, you know, I love you. But regardless, right, when you first open it up, your collections will be on the left hand side and your fonts will be added into your shelf on the right hand side. So just to quickly walk you guys through to create a new collection, you press this little plus button here. Let's just call this YouTube, press OK. And then in this now you, new YouTube collection, if I click on the drop down just like so, this is where all my fonts are. And I can kind of hover and preview and see which one I kind of want. And for me, let's just say I want this guy right here. And I can just click on this little plus button on the top right to actually add it into my collection. If you're wondering one or two things like how to delete a collection, that's what this little minus button is for. If I just click on YouTube, click this little minus button, it asks you to confirm if you want to delete it or not. So you're not going to delete it on uh, accident, I would say. So I'm going to press cancel, right? And delete a font. You must make sure you select the font and then delete it. And it will not ask you to cancel or like to confirm because like if it's okay, you can you can re-put it in, right? But of course, besides that, you of course have your color where if you wanna change the color scheme or whatever of the actual logo or the, excuse me, the, the font or typeface layer itself or the sizes right here as well. Now, I do wanna add, cause you're probably also wondering, can you save your collections? And the answer is absolutely. It's just in a different spot. So under playlist or plugin, excuse me, under font shelf is where you'll see a little bit of a, like a menu to actually toggle preview from list to pagination. I'll talk about that in a second, but also save groups and load groups from. So I already saved my groups, but I can just press load groups from. So I personally saved it on my downloads folder. Now it'll personally actually automatically create a font shelf typeface like folder list. So if I just click on this, I press select the folder, just like so after I saved it, it'll actually load all of my collections from previous and I will not have to kind of like do it over again or if I go to a new computer, uh, reapply them. You can actually just kind of send yourself that same folder and you can, it's just basically like a, like a notes thing. And the manifest file just kind of reads it as so and you guys will have your collections all good to go. So all my collections are now here and I'm a happy guy. But the other thing was, what is toggle preview? So really quickly, if you guys of course see, this is pretty instant when you guys open up your font drop down list. Now I'm on Windows, I have over two thousand fonts installed which is a, a lot so it is hard for photoshop at its current state to load these and trust me when i tell you i tried a lot of different things if you're a coder i promise you i tried so much but our solution was basically going into pages now there is a list view mode now if you're a mac for the record you're gonna have a great time there's like zero lag basically maybe like a, a, a second or so to open up the actual drop down and if you also don't have more than like 500 fonts you're not even gonna you're not even gonna really notice anything but just in case you're a font connoisseur like myself when you guys go to plugins and you guys go to font shelf and toggle preview you'll of course reload the app really quickly It'll, uh, you won't lose your collection or anything like that but it'll reload your app really quickly and you'll see it goes from pagination when i click into list mode and it does take a little bit of a time so of course I, like i said i have 2000 fonts so fair warning but I made sure that there was a solution just in case it was too noisy because realistically, you're not going to ever really want to click the drop down. The whole point is to create your font shelves or your uh, collections and actually have your fonts on a shelf and then just kind of go through this as like your way of navigating what you want. I mean, realistically, that's font shelf in a nutshell. And I just think it's one of those things that it's become it's become like a, a like a like a thing for me. I've had it for a long time. Obviously, I've been the I've been creating it, so I've been using it for a, a minute now. And I, I really am excited for you guys to get a hold of it if you guys do choose to, you know, of course, purchase it. And if you're wondering on the price, if you haven't checked the site at all yet, it's $20, literally one time purchase. Uh, so I hopefully made it incredibly affordable for everyone in that sense. That way you can all have this opportunity to, of course, group your fonts. But yeah, I mean, just, you know, 
I'm just happy. I'm excited. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you, you're probably questioning, but like, you know, there is a search feature. If you guys wonder how it is, you just kind of type in your font. And then when you drop down, it'll kind of just, you know, it'll do what you probably expect it to do. Now, naturally, of course, there's probably going to be a few bugs. Of course, I would, I would not mind whatsoever if you guys want, of course, email me any bugs that you guys might have. I'm going to be paying a lot of attention, obviously, to Font Shelf. It's like my literal child right now. But just to, just to share with you guys really quickly of where it was, it was, it was here. And then it went to here. And now we're here. I'm working very hard on making sure, of course, it just felt really good and like it was releasable for like a V1. That is Font Shelf. Don't forget to check it out in the description down below. I'm just excited. I'm like cheesing so hard. I'm trying to like keep a straight face while talking. But I, uh, yeah, it's like the first big thing that I try to do after like the Everything Pack released nearly what, 13 years ago. The Everything Pack is still a priority, by the way, but this is not also an Everything Pack product. This is not on sell five. This is own entity, its own thing. And I'm really trying hard to make sure it becomes a thing and hopefully people really enjoy it. It becomes that feature on Photoshop. That's like, why is it not a thing? And then I and we did it. So with that, Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking productive, easier with Font Shelf. Imagine I changed my outro, but I love you guys. I'll see you guys there, fontshelf.com, peace.